Let's map a floodplain using AutoCAD Civil 3D, HECRAS version 5, and LibreOffice or another spreadsheet. I've written all the steps in my blog so I'll go through this kind of fast just so you can see with your own eyes how every step works. We'll start in my Civil 3D 2016 where I've got a stream center line, left bank, right bank, some cross sections, and a Civil 3D surface somewhere in space. I want to make sure this drawing is on a good GIS coordinate system so I use the ADE set CRD sys command which is also available in the tool space settings area under right clicking the drawing to set a coordinate system. I've already set mine to Arizona Central but you can set yours to whatever seems appropriate for your project and ignore the source drawings area. Then I'll use the geomap command to turn on the aerial photos that are available through Autodesk 360 to see if I'm where I want to be and if not move my project. Well it looks like the center line of this stream is more or less on this wash that we can roughly see. So I'm going to turn off the map because that's all I needed to do. Now we can export our terrain surface and our stream geometry to HECRAS. I'll start with the terrain surface by going to the tool space, finding the surface under the prospector tab, right clicking on it and saying export to DEM. It wants to know where we want to put the file so I tell it eg export.tiff and I'm going to use a one foot spacing since it's a small project and I'll use the average elevation. Say OK. Sometimes it will not like the coordinate system using the export CRD sys command but if you're persistent it'll work. Now we prepare our geometry for export by creating an alignment and some cross-section sample lines. I'm going to use this polyline to create an alignment. The stream goes from east to west so I have to reverse it and call it wash. I'm going to put it on a HECRAS site and if I hover there's station 57 and there's station 187 so it's going from upstream to downstream now I go to sections create sample lines tell it which alignment I want tell it these are heck RAS sections and tell it I want to select existing polylines and I'll pick them that's all my polylines. Now I'm ready to export. So I can just say export heck RAS or go to the ribbon and under output and uh, do it. Uh, heck RAS site, river name wash. Let's check to use the bank stations. Pick the left and then pick the left. That's right. This is left because we're going from east to west. Now we'll pick the right side and then we click export. We go to the desktop, wash, HECRAS, Civil 3D Transfer and we'll say Civil 3D Geometry Export. And we're done. Now we can go to HECRAS version 5. We exported our existing ground and our stream geometry and we checked our GIS coordinate system. So now in HECRAS we can start a new project called WASH and go to our geometry window. We go to File Import Geometry Data in HEC in GIS format and we go to the desktop HECRAS 
Civil 3D Transfer and bring in our Civil 3D Geometry Export. We go through the first two tabs and find out that not only are our sections in feet, but since the stationing was running from upstream to downstream, the biggest number is on the bottom, which HECRAS does not like. So the first thing we do, change it to three decimal places, and I want to see the river station in miles. So now they're in miles, but they're still backwards. So I have to copy them to LibreOffice, put in a formula that says equals 0 0.031 minus U. Then I copy that formula to the bottom, double clicking the little square, copy those guys, oh they don't have, I need three decimal places on those, so let's maximize and do the little decimal place, copy them and paste them in. Now they'll be in the right order, and we're finished. We just imported them. The stream's going downstream, and the sections are going from left to right. Now we need one other thing. We need to go to the reach lengths. We need to move them all up so that zero is on the bottom. That does it. Now all we've got to do is the hydraulic stuff. We're going to add some roughnesses. We're going to set the roughness to 0 0.04 and then we'll add some flows. Go to our steady flow data. Add a flow of 20 CFS. Make our reach boundary conditions just critical since I don't know anything about the slope and we're ready to run. I'll say let's run a mixed regime and compute it. And uh, we'll, we can check the profile. We're done. Check the profile and we've got a HECRAS model. Now let's go to the mapper Go to Tools, New Terrain. You want to you want to set a, a coordinate system first? No. We're going to import the terrain file from the desktop. Wash, Hecras, Civil 3D Transfer, EG Export. You want to bring it in with the coordinate system in? Yes. Okay, create it. Brings it in. We turn on the terrain layer, and there we go. We've got it. Let's turn on our geometry, rivers, cross sections, and let's zoom extents. And now we just need to map the inundation. So let's go to Tools, Manage Results Maps, add a new map, Inundation Boundary, Add Map, Select it, Compute Update Stored Maps, turn it off, turn it on again. And we've got the uh, inundation boundary. Now it's already created a shape file, so we can just go to AutoCAD, we can say Map Import. and we can go to the old result directory I believe and then we find an inundation boundary inundation boundary shape file say OK tell it I want to import it as a polyline and I think I just click OK and there it is, my limits. I just did it. Now the only le thing left to do is to weed this thing with weed features. Pick it. And I'm going to say 
since it was a one foot grid, I'm going to say six foot distance. And I'm just going to keep doing it. Six foot distance. Six foot distance. Six foot distance. Six foot distance. This might be too aggressive. But that's what I'm doing. We should have saved the old one so we could compare and make sure it wasn't good. And that's the end. We've just done it. Thank you for watching.